So outside, currently we're under a mostly clear sky. We could absolutely use the rain, but we don't love seeing the severe storms like we saw yesterday. We did pick up a lot of rain in spots and hail, unfortunately yesterday, but for our Saturday across much of the metro and eastern plains, the main threats will be slight to low of seeing that severe weather. Gusty winds, lightning, light to moderate rainfall will be the main threats with the cells that form. Temperatures outside though right now, we're off to a nice cool start. Upper 50s moving into Fort Collins and Greeley, 60s in Broomfield and downtown Denver up into the mountains. Steamboat and Eagle in the upper 40s right now. Grand Junction nearing 60 degrees. So outdoor activities, definitely nice to do in the morning hours. By 10 o'clock, we'll already be in the upper 70s. Lunchtime, 85 degrees, and it's going to be hot this afternoon. Back to the upper 80s for our daytime highs. 88 downtown. 90 in Erie out through Keensburg, low 90s as well. And then 70s, Estes Park and Grand Lake should be a beautiful afternoon, especially in the high country. But we are looking at the chance per normal of seeing those afternoon thunderstorms form. Risk of severe weather is low, but if you are caught hiking and you hear the rumble of thunder, definitely uh, protect yourself, seek shelter. It'll be very few and far between that we'll see that storm activity, and it'll mainly be after about lunchtime, just up over Kremlin through Winter Park. Potential there of seeing a few of those storms and then showers likely by 615 out through Keensburg into Aurora. Most places will stay dry for today up and down the I-25 corridor and then tonight will clear out all across the state once again. So it should be a nice morning for our Sunday as well. 57 is our overnight low. We'll cool down overnight with temperatures climbing to the low 90s for tomorrow. So it is going to be a pretty toasty day across the state and we'll be talking more about fire danger as winds pick up across the western slope down through Durango and Alamosa. Uh, fire danger will be in increased all the areas shaded there in red under the fire weather warning. No watchers or warnings anticipated for the Denver area and for Monday it is going to continue to stay hot and dry. Mostly sunny on Tuesday. We won't be talking about the chance of storms until Wednesday. Looks like into the afternoon as more moisture filters into the atmosphere with overnight lows staying pretty steady in the mid to upper 50s to low 60s.